Hello everyone, welcome to Hero's Railway Journey. Today we're going to ride the Tonin Arakawa Tram, aka the Sakura Tram. I'm really excited to ride this with you because the special thing about this line is that the Sakura Tram is the last streetcar that is still currently running in Tokyo. Now quick history lesson. At one point in Tokyo, there was a total of 41 streetcar routes connecting the city up to the 1950s and 1960s. But with the rise of subways, buses, and cars around the 1960s, streetcars are not commonly used in Japan anymore. The Sakura Tram is the last one that remains at the request of the residents in the area. To a lot of people, the tram is still part of their everyday commute. And unfortunately, this is the only tram in Tokyo. We can still see streetcars still running in a few other places. Says it's Hiroshima, Kanagawa, and Nagasaki. The number of streetcars are shrinking, but there's still a group of commuters and dedicated fans that push to keep them running. There's a retro charm to the streetcar so that it can feel like you're being transported in time. They're also easy to ride and access, which is why the tram is very popular amongst older folks. But more on that later. Let me show you how you can experience the Sakura tram as a tourist and visit one of my favorite low-key areas of Tokyo. The Sakura tram gives access to North Tokyo in areas such as Waseda University, Sugamo, Oji, and Arakawa. My preferred way to access the Sakura tram is to Otsuka Station on the Yamanote line. Just past the ticket gate, you'll see a hallway that leads you straight to the Sakura tram platform. But before that, Otsuka Station is also a pleasant area full of many shops and restaurants. Along the track, there are certain flowers in bloom, depending on the season. In the spring, it is cherry blossoms. Hence the name for the Sakura Tram. But since I came here around autumn, it is lined with roses. Choo -choo! One ride in the Sakura Tram is a flat rate of 170 yen. But there's also a one day pass that costs only 400 yen. If you plan on riding at least three times, it pays for itself. You can ask the driver for the one day pass or buy the ticket booths at participating stations. Now let's check out the different locales you can visit through the Sakura Tram. <laughs> The Sakura Tram runs between Waseda and Minowabashi. Today, let's start the trip in Minowabashi. Minowabashi is known for its historic, joyful shopping street, full of little shops and restaurants. As opposed to your typical shopping streets in the city, this one feels a lot more local. You can see more people doing their daily groceries on this street. There's also this nice little train themed postcard shop for all your train fanatics as well. I couldn't resist getting a few myself. <laughs> One of the main reasons why I recommend starting in Minowabashi is the Kohi Kan Cafe. An old school cafe with model streetcars and art on display. And you can order these very cute Sakura Tram pancakes. Next, let's stop at Arakawa Shakomai, where you can visit the Toden Memorial Square. Here you can see the old rolling stock of the streetcars that used to run on this line. It is free to enter, and there's artwork on display from local school children of the streetcars and the surrounding neighborhoods. You can tell how much love there is with the Sakura Tram from the locals. There's also a driving simulator for kids to enjoy. Next stop is Oji. Oji is one of my favorite areas in Tokyo. Oji is a great place to go if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. There's a lot of greenery and parks that are great for families and kids. Asakayama Park is right by the station. There's also a little monorail lift that takes you up to the park if you'd like. The monorail is one of the examples of how this area does a really good job catering towards the older folks. The park is beautiful year-round, and it's also a great spot to view the fall foliage and hydrangeas in the summer. A lot of people love to stop here for picnics. There's also a playground with old trains on display too. Hokutopia is a community center just a few minutes from the station. 
On the 17th floor, there's an observatory that is free to access. You can get a beautiful view of Tokyo and Tokyo Sky Tree in the distance. The next stop is Koshinzuka Station, located in Sugamo. Just right off the platform is one of my favorite tea shops in Tokyo, Ipukute, a traditional Japanese tea shop famous for their ohagi. Ohagi is sweet rice covered in sweet paste, such as red bean, black sesame, or soybean powder. It tastes very similar to mochi, and it's excellent when paired with green tea. I also recommend the soba on a hot day. I always try to stop here when I get a chance to ride the tram. A tea set paired with the view of the passing streetcars, what more could you ask for? Suga Mall is also famous for its historical shopping street, Jizodori. Some people call it the Grandma's Harajuku. This area is also loved by senior citizens. If you're a fan of the design of the old Japanese storefronts, then this is the neighborhood for you. The storefronts are remnants of an older Tokyo that range from selling stamps, rice crackers, teas, traditional clothes, sweet potatoes, along with a few cafes and isekais here and there. The famous item sold here is the iconic red underwear. Red is a symbol of good health and longevity. Giving someone something red, such as underwear, on someone's 60th birthday is a common gesture in Japan. The famous temple in Sugamo is Koganji Temple. People come here to heal their ailments and pain, and again, very popular amongst senior citizens. The tradition that many people partake at this temple is to wash and clean the Kanon statue in an area that is causing pain in your body. You'll see many people waiting in line just to wash the statue. If you happen to want a Harajuku shopping street without a large crowd, a more relaxed atmosphere, and geared towards an older age range, then I highly recommend stopping by your grandma's Harajuku, Jizodori, which is again accessible through the Sakura Tram. So that was the Sakura Tram, the last running streetcar in Tokyo. Tokyo, for a lot of people, has this image of being this high tech busy city, but there's so many places that Tokyo has to offer, they often forget they're even in the city. It's always fun to visit your typical touristy spots like Shibuya, Shinjuku, and Harajuku. If you want to visit somewhere more low key and more relaxing, I highly recommend the route on the Sakura train. Honestly, if I ever decided to move to Tokyo, I would consider living in this area. I really enjoy the relaxed atmosphere and the easy access to the city. Choo -choo -choo! That too. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope I can see y'all next time. Jana! Choo -choo!